What is up guys, welcome to episode 162 of the Iron Man series and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. So I am going to be doing agility at the Arty course from now on most likely. I'm still going to do a few preliminary tests just to see if I like it at this level. So at 85 agility, one bite of a summer pie should last approximately two laps and every level above 85 should be an additional 2 laps so if I'm at 86 I should be able to get around 4 laps of bite on average so yeah let's go ahead and try this out of course I gotta use preserve and I have a bunch of you know prairie gear not the best prairie gear but it's pretty good 44 as it is so alright let's go ahead and try this out alright so I am starting to actually do the volcanic mine so the goal is to get the 40,000 points from the shop here for the ultra fertile source build all right so about to finish the first game of this i i didn't really get to do like anything uh, important for the team just because you know most of these guys are way way more experienced and they probably don't want a noob trying to carry those roles so i'm just freaking mining at least for me if you're not doing any roles it's not too much different but yeah you saw the xp drop 10k Alright, I think I'm closing in into an hour of Volcanic Mine with a really good team. So, let's find out. So, I have gained 79k experience and it says I'm getting flat on 80k an hour. So, I basically just did an hour. Alright, hold on. I also want to see how many points I got. 13,000 points. 600 points. So, in two more hours, if I keep it up at this pace, I can get the uh, Ultra Fertile spell. Wow, that's amazing, dude. Alright, this game should be a mining level. Alright, let me get away from the chat, but there it is, 92 mining, halfway to 99 mining of course, but the big thing here is the ability to mine amethyst, hopefully in the future, that's going to prove to be useful, because, uh, you know, amethyst arrows better than rune arrows, and if I do get a twisted bow in the future, then that's probably what I'd be using a lot, is those amethyst arrows. So how Volcanic Mine works is pretty simple. Pretty much everybody's main goal is to mine this boulder and extract, you know, auras from this boulder. So basically that's how you get your experience and the points for the reward shop. So the you know more you mine from this boulder within the 10 minute span, the more XP and points you get. So there is one problem though because you are in a volcano. This volcano is super unstable. So there are vents that are scattered throughout this map. So there's like three, but usually people only worry about two. So the idea is you want to make sure you cover these vents or uncover them so that you can keep the volcano stable. You only have 10 minutes max to stay here, but if you don't, you know, take care of your vents, it'll probably erupt way before 10 minutes is up. So as you, you know, mine the rock and it gets smaller, it's going to go down the river. So the ultimate goal is to deplete the boulder completely once it reaches the far northern end of the map and if your team does it right you guys should be able to finish mining the boulder completely around like nine or so minutes and the two people that are in charge of taking care of the vents will have to do you know more work than just mining but everybody else is basically mining so there are going to be things that are attacking you those lava demons and like stalagmites falling you can just protect from range and eat accordingly and you should be fine on that and of course make sure to leave the volcanic mine before it erupts because like it's gonna erupt at 10 minutes no matter what but you guys should be able to leave on time with the boulder uh, depleted completely if you guys are doing everything right nice points yeah i don't even know how i managed to get 3,000 points this run but that's crazy 11.7k xp drop that's the biggest drop i've i've had all day crazy this here is the last game that I need to get the Ultra Compo spell and it took under 4 hours to get it thanks to Sephiro. It's time to go ahead and buy myself the Ultra Fertile Soil spell. I'm gonna start you know, some crazy farming grind now that I have this so let's go ahead and do it. Book contains secret to an upgraded fertile soil spell only available to those with access to Lunar. Hell yeah man. You read the book, obtain the power, use an upgrade for a tile. You must carry at least two for kind of ash in order to empower it. I do need to mine some ash uh, to keep using it, but that's fine. Way better than, you know, having to compulse everything myself. So, we're done with that. So, is the volcanic mine 
like in general worth it? I would say yes, but you know, I gotta really elaborate on that. If you're going for the Ultra Combo spell, it's definitely worth you know, getting some hours into the Volcano Mine just for that alone. If you're looking for XP, I would say it's actually a really good option uh, to train using the Volcanic Mine. So you can possibly get up to 90k mining experience an hour at this time if you have a good team and you have high mining level. Now there are obviously some cons to that. It's not AFK, so if you're trying to AFK, <laughs> not the place for you. And it does require, for most players, you're probably going to want to you know, look for a team. It is soloable, but I think most people are going to be interested in you know, doing groups. So finding people might be annoying, but one of my good friends, uh, Payne's Wrath, he told me about this French chat called the Volcano Mine French chat. So specifically, it's just here to you know, help people meet up to do the Volcanic Mine. Honestly, it's pretty fun and it's not too hard to learn. Give it a shot if you want some good mining XP and you want to get that fast mining levels, man. Alright, here we go. 90 thieving, guys. Another level 90 skill. That is so good. Oh, yes. You can now pickpocket the Zard. That's came out with the Inferno update a few months ago. But uh, yeah, that is great. I need one more level to go and I can't finish the Desert Diaries. So the Gargoyle boss is getting delayed again. It won't be coming out until at least mid to late October. Maybe even next month for all I know at this point. So what that means for me is I'm not going to wait for it anymore. I'm just going to get right into my Herbler grind by killing Kelfi Queen as soon as you know I finish the Desert Diaries and unlock the shortcut. So let's talk about the Herbler goal since I'm going to be starting that pretty soon. The main herbs I'm going to be using for this remaining uh, 3 mil plus XP is going to be the Lanta Dimes and the Dwarf Weeds because I can get both my secondaries all from Kelfi Queen herself. And if you look at her drops, specifically Potato Cactus not only is dropped more often, but the drop quantity is much bigger as well. So what this means is that I'll finish like 8,000 of these Lanza Dimes way before I can finish even like half of these Dwarf Weeds. So in order for my Lanza Dime and Dwarf Weed to actually match the ratio of the Cactus and Wine Drops from Kelfi Queen, I actually need to make the Lanza Dime you know, amount bigger. So I can do that easily by actually farming. So since I do have the uh, Ultra Compost spell, it's going to be perfect because yeah, I'm just going to be farming all 90 of these Lantodime seeds and that should you know help me uh, get a bigger stack on the Lantodimes. First patch, I'm at 16. 17? 18. Are you kidding me? Wrapped up my first full run with the Ultra Compost. I did 7 patches. And this is the yield. 57 Lanta Dimes and 15 uh, Torso, so on average about 10 herbs a patch, wow. Alright, last rate of the day, and I get a leak Clue. Three and a half hours of raiding just to get that nice, juicy one clip Elite Clue. Hope it's nice. Alright, so, Elite Clue from last night's raid, here we go. What? Seriously? Three items? May. Alright guys, so I am about to wrap up on an hour of the Arty course. Uh, 85 agility using the boost and let's go and check what this uh, XP rate is looking like. I'm, I'm gonna probably be surprised. Alright, let's see what I'm getting here. 57k an hour at 85. So not bad, not bad. It's pretty much like the same as Sears. But the astounding difference is the marks do. Definitely uh, much better over here for marks. So I failed a lot of course at 85, but I'm guessing once I'm 90, like, you know, actually at the proper level, I'd be getting 20 plus marks easily an hour. This is so good though, man. Definitely gonna stick to this for the rest of a Jody, I guess. Oh shit, Elite Clue Scroll. You see? I told you guys, we're gonna get a lot of Elite Clue Scrolls. All right, this one's cool. More interesting than the last one. One last thief, the final pocket right there 91 thieving now i can access the final room of pharaoh's tomb awesome so i have now all of the skill levels uh, needed to complete the elite desert diary so i'm gonna go ahead and get them all done really quick finally we can start the uh, 99 herbal grind for reals if i remember i just gotta search this and there you go that's the 91 thieving requirement done this is the last task, so I just gotta make this 
I have luckily tons of KQ head. So you get 200 XP. Oh, that's fine. I'm not a pure, you know, no big deal. So I made it. All I got to do is talk to it. This is some really interesting chat. We'll lay our eggs in your brain. You will not die until it explodes and a million kill fire emerge to make a grand hive of all the world. Congratulations, Jeff. Completed all the elite tasks in the desert area. That's awesome. Here's your reward. Ah, the desert amulet 4. That looks popping, dude. You can now charge a ferro scepter with 8 charges. The amulet protects you from desert heat. Shortcut has been opened in Kelphic Queen Hive. Yeah, baby. That's the big boy perk that I've been looking for. I got the 86 agility, so it's perfect. Infinite teleport sonata is pretty nice as well. Alright. I used to, when I did Kelphic Queen, I would run all the way around this freaking like, snake tunnel, you know. To Kelfi Queen. I don't have to do that anymore. Thank the freaking agility shortcut. Just go straight from the entrance. Man, that's insanely fast. Oh my god. This is my first Kelfi Queen kill in a super super long time. So we're starting off at 427 KC. And I wonder how many Kelfi Queen kills it'll actually take for me to uh, reach the 99 Herbler. I don't know how long it'll take, but I just know for a fact that it will be a super long grind getting all those secondaries, you know, thousands of potato cactus, thousands of wines of Zamrak. So having this Kelphite shortcut and my POH and, you know, the best gear and all that for Kelphite Queen all set up will make this grind so nice and smooth. Oh yeah, baby. Renar Wheat, second dropper ready that's always nice nice got the first uh, drop that I was mainly looking for the wine of Zami man coming in at 60 a drop just beautiful damn dude the two magic seed drops a little crazy man they're over 200k each now like looks like 215k each Potato Cactus, yes, the first one. I started off at 427 kills and I ended at 448. 20 kills an hour or something. I'm not on task, so if I'm on task, maybe I can get like 20 kills an hour. I kill Fight Queen, so pretty good with this strategy though. Very nice. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll though. That's something, I guess. Alright, time for another Elite Clue. Please, please be a unique item. Wow, okay, that was a. Uh... So the 99 Herbler goal has finally commenced officially and it's going to be quite a slow grind just because the skill itself on an Iron Man is basically the slowest skill. But anyways, I'm just going to try to get an herbal level every once in a while. Luckily for me, I do have a really strong amount of herbs that I can just turn into potions right away, such as like the Eretz, I can get 1.2 mil XP just off of Eretz. And you know, maybe a few hundred K off of these other uh, herbs because I already have some random secondaries lying around like these limber roots and whatnot. And in due time, I will have 99 Herbler completed on this Iron Man. So that'd be cool to have the slowest 99 on here done. So let's talk about my PVM goals for a bit. So I've been actively doing raids, you know, since the dawn of time. And the most updated chart is here, as you can see. I actually have gotten my 50th raid item personally on the last episode with the uh, Dragon Thorn X number 8. Yeah, which is uh, kind of whack. But anyways, I'm still looking for those last three items. Other than that, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Hopefully with some amazing drops or great skilling progress. Take care.